Hey, I'm Maxi, I'm a Radiant player and coach, and this is a thought process on how I carry myself in ranked as Killjoy. Hope you guys enjoy the whole video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It really helps the channel. So in this first clip, it's pistol round, and my team is doing a full fast B hit. But rather than joining them, I decide to commit to holding mid control. Not only does my presence stall the rotate to the B bomb site, but also consider it like an insurance policy. If we as five committed to smashing B and got stuffed, these areas of the map would be a huge question mark. So instead, by having a handle on these parts of the maps, if need be, it will allow for easier rotates for my team. Main, we're not calling that. Okay. One enemy remaining. This guy's cat. We're top mid. No, come with you. Since we have a general idea where the last guy is, because of my trusty turret, I make my way to double up with my teammates so we can trade off each other easier. We bomb him. He's, he's not on B. Could have TP'd. I could have TP'd. I also want to highlight the turret that I used early in the round and the purposes that it serves. Not only does it help me gather information, but it's a huge deterrent. If they see it, they'll be a little bit more cautious while rotating through mid because I can be lurking about, and that alone helps slowing down the rotation. And if you can punish a couple people by lurking like this, it sets a precedent that mid is off limits because it's far too risky. Just lean heavy towards me. We can retake it. So now I bring you to a defensive round where I'm fully set up for an A hit while using a super strong off angle to punish people walking up cat. After my teammate gets picked after the enemy team shows heavy B presence, I start into action and start making my way up cat to see if I can gain some sort of info or swing the numbers advantage into our favor. But as the round goes on, they fully take B even though I have 4 teammates presence which is kinda crazy to think about. As I slowly rotate to B site, I stay quiet to give the enemy team as little information as possible in case of their B main or anywhere close. I'm not too worried about a lurk since their designated lurker, Killjoy, just use your ultimate on site. It's a 2v3 and 2 of their players are 100% accounted for. We spotted them earlier on the minimap, and since a one way manifested from site, and my Reyna, who is in our spawn choke point, completely unsmoked, didn't see any funny business coming from B main or lane, I'm almost certain all of them are playing on site. After the dart gets shot behind me, I quickly, without losing my cross replacement, run towards an angle where I won't be scanned by it. I make sure to keep calm and steady my focus on the angles where I'd imagine they peak the soonest if they were to capitalize off of each other's util, and I'm rewarded by picking off the omen. After picking off the omen, I watch for potential swings for the trade, making sure I had loudly sidestep and counter strafe in hopes of baiting out a swing on somebody trying to get a good timing on me and it works. Nova peaks and gets sat down. After that I use my polished spray control and sit down the killjoy too. After going back and forth in overtime, it's do or die here. We won the defense and then I carry my team across the finish line with an ace right here. If you actually want to just W key dash at somebody, we can just omen flash this kid and just dash at him. KU just sits, KU is literally just sitting A main here every single round. He's trying to pop flash because he's stupid. He's done it every single round. We could try to counter that if you want. Because their killjoy is just playing map control. Like, killjoy is just sitting tree every round. Right here, I idealed my team because I picked up on a habit from the enemy KO. My prediction was right, but sadly, they couldn't follow through. Also, you may have noticed that I didn't place my turret on top of mid like I did on pistol round. And that's because I've been defaulting it there. And since I plan on lurking a little bit more aggressively, I didn't want there to be any telltale of my position. I want to hopefully lure somebody into a false sense of security and capitalize on it. I want some dum dum to be like, oh, he didn't put his turret down. Cage is not playing mid this round. And that's how I activate my trap card. Got two. Oh my god. And my lurk worked perfectly. I catch one bozo with his pants down and spray transfer into the smoke where I thought I heard a reload sound coming from. I get the killjoy and then I sigh in relief because I'm not schizophrenic. As we decide to take sight here, I make sure to prioritize map control and hold tree to make sure that we don't get pinched. I hear loud footsteps of them trying to retake from heaven. I hear the rotates, so I try to sneak up to go for the gold. In this clip, I'm going to show you that Killjoy isn't just lurking in trap plays. You can alpha up on teams if you set yourself up right.
The key thing about this play is this turret right here. Her turret is so flexible because you can use it as a consistent bait and switch partner for yourself just like I did. So many different scenarios where you can just ready yourself just to peek off your turret's contact and get some free kills. Be creative. You want to make these guys think twice before they even think about touching your half of the map. <clears throat> setting up for a C hit. Here's another example on how you can set up your utility to bait for yourself to go huge and single-handedly hold down a site. I place my turret facing the entrance of C site to cause some sort of resistance, while I set up a nade trap in case the jet dashes onto site in front of me. After that, I tuck in this corner that I haven't used before. I'm really confident this is going to work because since they had a breach, they really loved hitting fast C. Get out of my way! A lot. I hear some C long. It's going to be a C split. Raise mid, raise mid. A C split. Can you smoke in front of you? Oh, fuck. I can't help. Spike down. And it worked like a charm. Some alarm bells rang in my head because they were actually splitting C, which means I'm pretty much a sitting duck in this corner. So as soon as I process that, I try to make a play and peek long in hopes of getting some picks while their attention is on my turret. When backed into a corner, sometimes you're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit to give your team the best chance to win a round. Because think about it, when it comes to splits, one side is always gonna be weaker. So rather than leaving it up to chance, I take matters into my own hands and sweep one of their legs from underneath them and swing the momentum of the round in our favor. Because after I get these picks, I now have full control of C-Long and in one fell swoop have the potential to contain these guys who are in garage. Breach is right here. Spike spotted C. I'm on HP, I'm on HP. Yeah. Underneath, he dropped. One enemy remaining. Garage, garage. Oh, this is all you. Garage. No. <laughs> How did he know I was in there? Yo, I'm holding, just, just peek off me. My ace, I'm gonna cry. Don't worry, Maxi from the past. You'll get your ace eventually. If you made it this far into the video, I love you, and if you have any feedback, just leave it in the comments below.